Hello viewers, welcome back to Working Mom Kitchen. Now, today I want to show you how to cook sardine curry. Okay, many of you, especially Malaysians, are very well aware of a can of sardine of any brand that you like. I have taken this Ayam brand, sardine. This is the big can. Alright, uh, to make the curry... Okay, for the curry, we have garlic. I have lots of garlic here. At least uh, six to seven cloves of medium-sized garlic. I have curry leaves here. Two medium-sized onions sliced. I got two tomatoes, medium-sized. One uh, eggplant that I've cut into little quarters here. White radish, just half because I have a very huge one. So this is like my palm size. Curry powder mix. This is fish curry powder, three tablespoons. This is the spoon that I use. One and a half uh, tablespoon of curry powder. Sorry, one and a half tablespoon of uh, chili powder. Three tablespoons of fish curry powder. One and a half tablespoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric. You need salt and I will use a little fenugreek and uh, mustard seed in uh, my tempering later. So let's get to work. But before that, we need to open this can. We have to uh, separate the sauce and the fish and there will be a little bone. There will be a little bone in the middle of the fish so I'll clean that up too. I'll throw away the bone. And later I will show you how it looks like. Okay, I have uh, opened the can, removed the sardines and I have cleaned up the bones. You have to just use your hand to break them into half and remove the bone. Try not to break the, uh, the flesh so much. Here is the sauce that I have uh, taken. This will be mixed into the curry and uh, I missed out the potato so I I have one large potatoes that I've cut into uh, smaller pieces. This is the white radish. I cut into a half centimeter thick uh, uh, pieces here. So let's start cooking. Okay, I have heated up a little oil. There's about one tablespoon oil. I want to fry the fish lamps first. Let's fry them for about 10-15 seconds in low fire. My mom always says that, you know, whenever we have uh, eggplant, we must first fry it stay in the oil. This will help to release a very nice aroma and it will give a very nice taste to the curry that we, you know, that we add the eggplant to. So I want to remove the eggplant now and set it aside. about 15 seconds and that's what we will achieve you know a bit uh, blister on the skin so we are not trying to cook the eggplant here so we still have some oil I want to add a little bit more okay still with a uh, low uh, I have added a little more oil in the pot so going to add the mustard seed. That's about a quarter teaspoon here. Yeah? And fenugreek seed. Okay. Let's move on with the onion. Some here. Let the onion be translucent, and uh, I will eat. I will add uh, green chili after that. I want the onion to be a bit translucent. 
Okay, the onions are translucent. Let me add the green chili. Just one green chili that I slit lengthwise. Okay, let that cook for about uh, 10 seconds now. And I will add in um, potatoes. Potatoes in. I'm going to leave this for another 10-15 seconds. Okay, it has been about 15 seconds now. I will add the sauce. This is the sauce from the sardine can. Mix slowly. This, it will definitely splutter. Add a little salt. Adjust your salt accordingly because the sauce has salt in it. Alright. The spice powder mix. I am only using a medium flame because I just don't want to burn the curry paste here. Okay, it's really thick now. I want to add one cup of water first. So I have taken a little tamarind here. Okay, so I am soaking in warm water. So let it soak for a while and later we will squeeze the pulp and take the juice. And we have to strain the juice. So I'm adding another cup of water to dilute the curry. So at this point, I want to add the radish. Okay, I'm going to let it cook through for another five minutes. It has been about five minutes now. So I want to add the tamarind juice that I squeeze out and I want to add another half a cup of water. So the potatoes are still not cooked. We have to cook until they are fully cooked. So you got to wait for another five minutes before adding. Um, the eggplant and tomatoes okay another five minutes of fast let's, let's reveal okay, this is the correct time for me to add the eggplant and tomatoes okay the eggplant goes in the tomatoes also goes in. Give it a quick stir. So we will cook it for another five minutes, and finally, the uh, sardine uh, pieces will go in. So that will take a couple of more minutes to completely cook down the curry because we are not supposed, we cannot, we should not uh, turn off the stove um, right after adding the uh, sardine pieces because we want uh, the sardine smell to go and we also want the curry to get infused into the sardine meat. So let's wait for another five minutes. Okay, it has been cooking for more than five minutes now. This is the curry consistency that I like. 
uh, you can see that the potatoes are cooked if you want more mushy potato you should cook it down further uh, this is how I like it if you want a thinner curry as usual add more water check for seasoning at this point and you can add in all the sardines and do not you know stir it very slowly don't stir it uh, you know uh, vigorously here do it slow and you don't need any uh, garnishing for this curry so you just you need to just turn off the flame when you have a uh, you know when it started to give you like a good boil so it's starting to boil now so I'll leave it for at least 10-15 seconds before I turn off the stove so this is how I make my sardine curry this curry will be very nice to be eaten with uh, plain rice you can eat it with dosa or idli or even chapati so I hope that you will try this at home and thank you for watching.